So here's the news that we all want to know. I'm back <laughs> and I have a ton of news a ton of updates we haven't talked in a while I know but I'm trying to get back into my group sis so here's the news that we all want to know I'm moving to Dallas well the whole family is moving to Dallas me hubby kids two dogs everything the warehouse too we are all moving to dallas and as i sit here right now we are moving in about 17 days so <laughs> life has been a little crazy since we last really got a chance to sit down and chit chat with one another um there's been a lot going on with the business lots of good things um still trekking through still trying to get back to that 2020 vibe but uh we're pushing through and me and my husband, we made a decision like last May that we were going to move to Dallas this summer. And we found the house. We found the house in on spring break. So we just got back from Dallas like two weeks ago. We found the house. It's in this amazing neighborhood that I'm just so excited about. And we applied and they called us that Monday and said, you're approved. Send the funds. I had to wire over the deposit and ever since then life has been a little bit of a whirlwind I have been <laughs> I have been doing a lot right uh you know you had to get utilities cable internet da 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 da, -da renters insurance like just you name it yes so we did not buy a house um because right now like the market and who just is willingly giving up three hundred thousand down to put on a house like if i'm gonna buy a house it's gonna be the one that i absolutely love and i want to stay in for a little while but we were able to find a house for lease that um is in the perfect neighborhood i originally wanted a five bedroom for bath we are getting a four three and a half but i still have my office so it has a separate office that's not included in the bedrooms um it has a downstairs living room, dining room, kitchen, a big kitchen. Um, and then upstairs is like another like loft living room or theater room, whatever you want to call it. Um, my husband keeps calling it a theater room. I keep calling it a loft. Doesn't matter. And then Faith, on the side of her room, she has like this little section that can be like a play area for her. It almost literally looks like, like a princess castle space. <laughs> so she has her, her very own room now, her very own bathroom all the things tay has his very own room now and all of his very own bathroom so i'm super excited for my kids um they have just weathered the storms with us in this house we bought this house when we were 23 years old um at the time we only had one kid right it was just two two young kids and a, and a child and since then over the last 10 years we added another kid and two dogs and in a three bedroom two bath we have severely outgrown this space and all i wanted was for my kids to have their own room and for my parents to have somewhere to stay when they visited and my mother-in-law and that's what we got and so i'm just grateful i'm super grateful um i was like so anxious earlier because i don't know if people still do housewarming gifts or registries or things like that like we just really don't hear about it or talk about it anymore and i'm like listen i am the friend that never asks for help but i'm trying to get better in life and allowing others to help us and to bless us and all of that and so i like i was super anxious because i was like i don't know if i'm supposed to like do this is this like presumptuous is this like like is this okay to like have an amazon registry you know, and if somebody wants to give us something, they can, but they're not, you know, they don't have to, right? Um, and so, like, I put it on threads because I was like, I don't know. 
I don't know what the etiquette is. I have not moved in over 10 years. And they were like, girl, put it out there. <laughs> so I'm sitting here now and I'm working on that. I'm working on the registry because I started it yesterday. Now I'm trying to like organize it and stuff. Um, and then I'm going to edit a YouTube video, start writing emails for the week because I'm home by myself right now. The kids are with my mother-in-law and TJ is out working. So uh, I was going to start writing emails and just get a lot of work done today and then hopefully map out my seven day email challenge coming up where I want to help people properly set up their email system so that they can begin to automate some of their revenue and essentially make money in their sleep or learn how to make money when they don't have to post and you know how to build community through emails and how to engage and all of that stuff so i'm really really excited about being able to do that so there's a lot to work on today it's sunday it's easter here um this is the first easter where i have not gone to church i've been chill i i ain't even changed clothes i'm still in a bunny and pajamas because we have the cozy earth release coming out this week so i have to get ready for that girl there's a lot going on it's a lot going on but nevertheless i'm here i'm super excited um just about all of the changes that are happening and i was like i gotta come update y'all but y'all come spend a day with me and just see like what it looks like in my life right now because it is crazy Rest in the gown, everybody's like, why, where you going, no one special, just going to the store I think I'd have it all, tell you why I've been more Taking the plate, being a plate, she is on a ruley Never seen her like this, didn't think it existed, no truly Don't get in the way, she's not in a place, she'll get moody But don't mistake this girl for being me Cause these are dream rules This is someone else I'm not myself, no, no mm -hmm. Cause these are dream rules This is someone else I'm not myself, no, no respond to all of the emails and um get all of our stuff done for the house as far as submitting our policies and uh making sure utilities confirmations and all of that were done to get turned on and i finished editing my youtube video finally so that's downloading right now and i figured while that was downloading let me go ahead and fold some of this laundry. I swear it feels like we have never ending laundry in this house. Um, but since we are packing up most of our clothes this weekend um, to take down to the new house in Dallas, um, I'm just going to fold them and leave them on the couches because they're gonna go in containers this week no reason to try and even find a place to put them up um but we are gonna go through like all of my clothes when my friends get here this weekend because i'm having a packing party and so when they get here we're gonna pack and go through my clothes at the same time so i plan on only taking about a fourth of the amount of clothes that i have i haven't decided yet if i'm gonna like take them to goodwill give them away sell them um because a lot of my clothes still have tags on them and stuff but i hadn't decided yet so um instead of trying to like put them because i ain't got nowhere to put clothes right now i think i still have like two or three more baskets in my room outside of the three that i just put on the couch i ain't got nowhere to put clothes <laughs> so we just need to pack them up go through them sort them pack them up and be done at this point and that is the plan okay The problems disappear She could tell you the things you want to hear She could read your mind and that she could believe All the little lies to tell yourself a lie Never get it wrong, it's always right Waking the plate, being the plate 
She is on a Never seen it like this, didn't think it existed, no truly Don't get in the way, she's not here to play, she'll get moved But don't mistake this girl for being me So I decided that I was going to take myself to dinner I called the kids and they were like, we ain't coming home tonight So, <laughs> since they are not coming home and T is also still at work. It's like, girl, I'm taking myself on a date. So, the only thing that sucks is that I do have this current pimple right here. Like, can you see that? Can you see? I got this current pimple right here that's white. And I don't want to pop it. I did go to Sephora yesterday. And I was going to record a separate um, haul video because I didn't plan on doing my makeup or anything like that today. But I'll just show you what I got. So I got the, this is the Urban Decay Oil Control. This is their makeup setting spray. I got Vanessa Myricks. This is her new Moisture Repair Balm Serum. I also got her, this is her Water Powder Serum. And she has a new blush color, it girl. Okay. And then I finally got my hands on how on Huda Beauty's uh this is their liquid concealer, the faux filter one. So that's what I'm gonna try now. And try to conceal some of the little blemishes I got going on. But for my pimple that just popped. I'm gonna use these. Uh, they always work. I don't ever had no problem with them. Cause these are dream rules. This is someone else I'm not myself. No, no. Mm -hmm. Cause these are dream rules. This is someone else I'm not myself. No, no. starting off Q2 with which is 10x is greater than 2x so far really great read but I love all of um Dan Sullivan um books with the co-author that that actually writes the book um who not how one of the best books that I've ever read and then um after this book I'm gonna read their um their third book I think it's called like gap to gain or something like that but um yeah so sat there and read you know cruised home i didn't brush so that's always a good time to just just be just be to yourself so now i'm about to i came home and i started washing dishes first so i went ahead and washed all the dishes because don't nobody like to go to bed with a sink full of dishes child so i went ahead and washed the dishes and stuff i lit a couple of candles now i'm about to jump in the shower wind down for the night and go to sleep because it's already like 11 15 and i've been trying to get in bed between uh, 10 and 11 so a little behind tonight but it's okay 
Um, so that's what I'm about to do. And I, it's pretty much my day. It's pretty much my day. Nothing super exciting, you know, happened. Just very chill. Spent the day by myself. But outfit, I don't think you can see the outfit. It's a matching set. Oh, I wish I could show you the outfit. It's super comfy. It's super cute. Um, I think I got it from Dillard's, if I'm not mistaken. I want to say I got it from Dillard's. Uh, who, is, who is it by? Let me tell you who it's by. It's by Brian Walker. So if you know anything about Brian Walker, Brian Walker, um, the outfits are always just like super comfortable, walkable, breathable. You know, they're usually matching sets or mix and match that you can put together. Very like minimalist uh, type of, of clothing line. But I just love it because I feel like I be, when I wear the outfits, I feel like I look like a rich white woman. Uh, <laughs> but it's a really, really cute outfit. Um. Came in handy for tonight. So back to the dry cleaner as it goes tomorrow. But that's pretty much it, y'all. So I will catch y'all later.